From this video, we are going to show how to build a page using the press styled sections. To do it, we are going to use our new magic button. Ok, let's start. I click at magic button. And here I can see lots of the pre-styled pages. But I need sections, so I navigate to sections block. And here I can see multiple pre-styled sections. They are quite stylish. They are related to different categories. Actually, you can see all the categories here. And you can also uh, see some of the sections uh, related uh, to some of the uh, modules on the left. My first section will be a slider. So I scroll down a bit and here I click slider and insert the slider that I think that I think suitable for my page. Here it is. I can even slide it in order to see how it works, how it would look on my page. Uh, my next section uh, will be built by me. I click Add new section, select the structure I want to use. It will be one column structure. And I want to add a heading element, so I drop it to this column and I want to replace the default text with my own one, uh, so I type in the text I want to use. Creating with blocks is easy. And I want to place my text to the center of the column, so I click center in the alignment and I want to use a different color for my heading text so I pick the one I think most suitable. I also copy it to the clipboard in order to have access to it whenever I need it. And then I want to change typography. I set another font and I want to use another font size and font weight. Uh, now I want to drop another heading to this section. I will also place it to the center and I will replace the default text with my own one. Uh, maybe discover more opportunities. Ok, here is my text. Uh, then I want to style it up, so I use the same color and I want to use the same font and the font weight will be 300. And I think that a little padding is also needed at the top of the text, so I use 20 pixels top padding and now the section looks better. Uh, let's also add some paddings uh, to the top and the bottom of the whole section. I want to add them as I want to use this section in order to separate uh, the pre-made sections uh, to make them look uh, more distinct. Uh, so I save uh, the made section as a template I type in its name and click Save button. Here it is. You can see it at the end of the list. And now I want to return to using magic button. I click it once again, navigate to Sections. And I want to add a download button now. So I click Download button and select the one I think more suitable for my page. OK, here it is. Now I want to add my custom template in order to separate it from the other content. And again I click magic button and select the section I want to use. 
it will be services block and I think the 14th one will look great. But the orange color is uh, not suitable for me. So I delete the blocks and leave only one. Uh, then I navigate to icon in the style section and here I change the color to the purple one and the border color is also needs to be changed. Here is my service. Then I just copy the column in order to have three different services. Now I want to add my custom template to separate this section from the new one. I click magic button, then I click sections. And now I'm going to add an image layout. I think masonry layout will do perfectly. Here it is. Uh, the second one will suit for me. Again, I add my template and use magic button once again. Navigate into sections. Then I'm going to add a team members block. And the eighth one will suit perfectly. I again add a template. And again, I want to use a pre-styled section. Uh, now it will be testimonials. And I think this one will do. Again, I add a template. And I want to add another pre-styled section. This will be the last one. I click to sections and I think the brands, the brands will do. I insert them. And here is my new page built with the pre-made blocks. I update it in order to save all the changes and now we can go and preview our results.